What's up guys, this is Vidant Apps, and in this video we're going to be creating a basic calculator in Playground. So, this is another video where we mess with Playgrounds. So anyways, let's get into this video. Alright, so we open up Xcode, and as a friendly reminder, I am doing this in Xcode 8. So we're going to click Get Started with a New Playground. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this sample calculator. And save it wherever. Now this is not a full-fledged calculator like on your iPhone. In this video we are just going to play around and create something that adds and subtracts numbers. So which would be a calculator. So again we are just messing around with playgrounds. We can delete this var str equals hello playground. We're going to say var number one is equal to, just to put quotation marks, and var number two is equal to quotation marks. Then we're going to say print. For right now, we're just going to add quotation marks, and and we're going to say your answer is, <clears throat> and it's going to tell us our answer. So like that, backslash and parentheses. So we're going to replace the quotes in number one with our number we want to add. So we can say 2 and then 4 or 5, whichever. And then here in the brackets, we're going to say number 1 plus number 2. And it says your answer is 7. We can do subtraction. And it's going to say minus 3. So right here, it's going to say null. You can see. We're going to change the numbers. So now that we've left this, all we need to change is add or subtract. So now we're going to delete this and say print again. And this is if they add. So if they want to add the num, we're going to add quotes. So the number, the numbers. And then backslash uh, parentheses and number one plus number two. Let's see, and we need quotes first of all. So just add quotes. See so down here it says the numbers added together are seven, and we're going to copy and paste this to say the numbers subtracted. Together are and replace that with a minus sign. So it'll show both of the numbers. So I'm going to pick a random number now. So we can say 9 and 56. So the numbers added together are 65 and when they are subtracted it is negative 47. Now if we switch those, so 56 and then 9, and it'll show us the correct answer. So it is calculating the work for us. Now let's see if we can do a division. So we're going to copy and paste this. Numbers divided and put the division sign and there you go so division now works let's we can do probably the same thing for multiplication so let us try that let's 
So if we multiply the numbers, the answer is 504. Let's throw out some really weird numbers. And so the numbers added together are 154. Uh, the number uh, the sub the numbers subtracted together are minus 38, and the number divided are zero. It's not going to calculate that because uh, it will be point something, but that is okay. So there you go, a really basic calculator. It's really basic, and we just need to plug in two numbers. So. We can, like I said, pick any two numbers. So we get 6 and 3. Multiplied is 18. Divided is 2. And when they're subtracted, you do get 3. And when they're added, you do get, in fact, 9. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. The project files, if you want to download this uh, project, will be in the description below. And if you need help, you can always chat on our Discord chat page. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.